Today, we will talk about degree of financial leverage, including its definition, formula, and practical uses. A degree of financial leverage is a leverage ratio that measures the sensitivity of a company's earnings per share EPS, to fluctuations in its operating income as a result of changes in its capital structure. The degree of financial leverage DFL, measures the percentage change in EPS for a unit change in operating income, also known as earnings before interest and taxes EBIT. This ratio indicates that the higher the degree of financial leverage, the more volatile earnings will be. Since interest is usually a fixed expense, leverage magnifies returns and EPS. This is good when operating income is rising, but it can be a problem when operating income is under pressure. DFL equals percent change in EBIT percent change in EPS or DFL equals EBIT minus interest EBIT. DFL measures the percentage change in EPS for a unit change in operating income. It can also be represented as EBIT divided by EBIT minus interest, which helps calculate the degree of financial leverage. The higher the DFL, the more volatile earnings per share will be. Since interest is a fixed expense, leverage magnifies returns and EPS, which is good when operating income is rising but can be a problem during tough economic times when operating income is under pressure. DFL is invaluable in helping a company assess the amount of debt or financial leverage it should opt for in its capital structure. If operating income is relatively stable, then earnings and EPS would be stable as well, and the company can afford to take on a significant amount of debt. However, if the company operates in a sector where operating income is quite volatile, it may be prudent to limit debt to easily manageable levels. Consider the following example to illustrate the concept. Assume hypothetical company Big Box Incorporated and how it uses DFL to assess the impact of a change in operating income on EPS. The degree of financial leverage can be used to estimate the possible impact of a change in operating income on EPS. Changes in EBIT are magnified on EPS due to the presence of interest rates, and this ratio is useful for companies to gauge the impact of leverage on their earnings. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The degree of financial leverage, DFL, is a leverage ratio that measures the sensitivity of a company's earnings per share to fluctuations in its operating income as a result of changes in its capital structure. 2. This ratio indicates that the higher the degree of financial leverage, the more volatile earnings will be. 3. The use of financial leverage varies greatly by industry and by the business sector. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.